Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie, and like I said, this channel is about to be new and improved. I got some awesome lenses uh, off of Amazon and a funky little tripod for my camera. Uh, I mean, my, my phone, which is acting as my camera today. <laughs> Hopefully that changes soon. Um, but for now, I got these awesome clip-on lenses. I got this awesome tripod doohickey, uh, and I'm working on improving all the audio and the visuals and all that stuff. It's a new era of uh, this channel, I guess. Whatever. So I <laughs> figured it would be appropriate for the first uh, like video thing to be about like my most recent guitar purchase. So lo and behold, my most recent purchase was a Reverend Double Agent OG in Karina Burst for, from the 2018 line. Uh, a little bit about Reverend Guitars. Founded in 1997 by a Mr. Joe Naylor, uh, USA made initially, and then they moved to a factory in South Korea, started using Karina wood. It used to be, um, it, the, the original USA models were very non-traditional materials. So if you can come, if you can come across one, they're all different and they're all very cool. So I recommend trying out those USA models as well, if you can find one. Uh, but for now... This is what we've got. We've got a Karina body. Um, the Karina burst is essentially the natural Karina wood with a little little something to it. it. Looks really. It was calling to me. This guitar. I picked it up immediately. Fell in love. Um, some things new for 2018. You have a cool logo on the neck plate. Cool logo on not a logo, but wings on the input jack. Uh, there's finally dots on these knobs, which they didn't used to have before. Uh, roasted maple neck. This fingerboard is not rosewood. It is blackwood tech, which essentially is a company that bakes pine, if I recall correctly. So it's still wood, just not rosewood. We got a whole mess of things going on with rosewood right now, so that's what we're dealing with. Uh, but still plays great. This neck is super comfortable. Like I said, roasted maple. It's a little darker than the average maple and a little more stable. This thing feels amazing. Uh, Reverend winds their own pickups specifically for their models. So this combination of the humbucker and the, the P90 uh, is amazing. And you have a bass contour control as well as a volume and tone control. Uh, the traditional tone control does what you would expect it to do. It cuts out the highs. Uh, this base contour control cuts out the lows. Um, I think in one of the demos I, I'm doing for this guitar, I had this at like 50. Um, yeah, I don't really mess with these too much. I usually keep everything open all the way, but occasionally for like certain songs, certain styles, I'll mess with it. Um, but yeah, this is my new baby. Um, since it's called a double agent, uh, I named it Mata after Mata Hari. So... Do your research, you'll find out that she's a famous double agent. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this guitar is amazing. Reverend's a great company. I'm fortunate to have had a relationship with them um, for a long time now. Uh, well, in my opinion, a long time. I've met Joe and uh, Mr. Ken Haas when I was, I believe I was like 19. And it was right around the time uh, Joe Naylor's other company, Railhammer, was coming out. And uh, I immediately put Railhammer pickups in all my guitars, so I have two other Reverends with Railhammer pickups, but this has the traditional Reverend humbucker in it. Um, so check out Reverend Guitars, doing a couple of quick demos with this model, and uh, that's going to be it. Quick video, just wanted to put something out there to show you guys that I'm serious about uh, upgrading everything. So hopefully you enjoy this video, and hopefully the sound bites don't sound terrible. I'm still getting into the mixing side of things, and I'm still kind of figuring out uh, my setup here. I'm running this guitar through a little frontman, uh, Fender Frontman 10 or something, 15 maybe? It's a little red solid state amp, it's nothing fancy. So I just wanted to use a more natural sounding situation. I didn't want to just plug right into the computer. Uh, so check out Reverend Guitars and uh, stay tuned to this channel. In the future, I'll be doing more of this kind of stuff and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, like, subscribe, comment, whatever the hell you want to do.